All right, welcome everybody. We're here to do some strength training and we're gonna focus on balance a little bit today as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just start with a seated warm up. You can do a standing warm up if you want to, but I just wanna show the seated warm up as well. It's good to show everything. All right, let's go ahead and rotate. I always have music on in the background when I don't have music. And push across. Reach up and over. Just toe touching to the side. Push down and heel touch. Touch your heel in the front. Open up the chest. And reach up, knees up. And then we'll do some stretching. Rotate back, look back behind you. And other side. Triceps. So when it comes to balance, oftentimes people lose their balance because they just weren't paying attention. But you know, you wanna try to work yourself up, uh, be able to look different directions while you're balancing on one foot, that sort of thing. So oftentimes we'll use visualization to challenge your balance other side but the main thing is to always stay focused that way you won't fall probably if you focus a little more on what you're doing most of the, most of the falls i hear about are people that were kind of paying attention to something else or being in a hurry or something like that you can always take time to do something different push out pull the fingers down and pull back Excellent. So let's go ahead and stand up. We are going to start with behind the chair and we're going to do big steps. This is one thing I really like to do uh, to get people to not do the shuffle. When I worked at, Sen at Princess Cruise Lines, we used to call it the senior shuffle. I wasn't even teaching seniors then, but they all would kind of do this sort of thing. And we'd be like, oh, here they come doing the senior shuffle, ready to come have their meal. You want to not do the shuffle. Now people shuffle because they don't want to, they don't want to fall. It's a good protection and maybe you should in some situations, but we want to try to make big steps. And that's what you want to practice. Big steps. And you can go the distance if you have further to go, but try to, if you have a countertop, a long countertop, you can hold on or, or have it close by. But just taking big steps like you're a big walker. I'm gonna go kind of diagonal here. That way I have a little more space. And then I'll take it back and just keep walking with those big steps. And you can slow it down. So let's do bigger steps with slower. That makes more balance. Take it back. It's a good warm up too. So big steps, get you away from that senior shuffle. All right, let's go ahead and kick side to side. So we're gonna strengthen the hips right now. Let's do 10 on the right, 10 kicks. Five more. Good, other side. And then just hold on one side, balancing. 
So if this is easy, look at your hand and touch your nose and look at it as it comes back out. Look at your hand, touch your nose, look at it comes back out. That way you can actually practice paying attention to something else. Maybe you won't fall because you'll be able to focus on both things. But you can see that visualization is probably like 70 or 80% of your balance actually. You can try closing your eyes and you'll see. Hold on if you need to. But just close your eyes for a second. You'll notice how much harder it gets. All right, let's try the other side. Good. If it's easy, go ahead and add the hands. Working those hips while we're balancing. You want to look at the hand if you're looking at it. You can try the eyes closed again if you want. Be careful. Notice how visualization really is important and helps you out quite a bit. And relax. Good. Let's go up to the balls of the feet. So I want you to, a lot of times people go up just a little bit, nice comfort spot, go up a little further, make it harder. And try focusing on one spot in the room. That'll help a little bit too. Give me 10 more seconds, push up more. And relax, excellent. Just hamstring curls, kind of stretching it out. Okay, so we're gonna get the weights out. Now remember, some of these are optional. You don't have to do the balance stuff with the weights, but we're gonna combo up here. So I'm gonna get the weights out and I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other. Like I said, do, do what's best for you. And we're just gonna go out and down. Like you're on a tightrope. Do about four more. The weights change it a little bit. Excellent. Take a break from that. We're going to raise the leg up and just bicep curl. We'll do about eight of these, nice and slow. Keep that leg up. But you have options. And you can do this seated as well. Three more. Excellent, let's do other side, eight more. Excellent. And then remember what foot was in front last time, switch the feet and put one foot in front. And this time we're going to go to the front with our weights, balancing like that. You can always offset it a little bit if it's too hard for you. About four more. Perfect, all right, let's go ahead and have a seat for a second. One thing that actually helps you with balance is your core. So we're gonna work the core a little bit. You wanna sit back, have your weights up at your chest, sit back quite a bit there, scoot up if you need to, and pull yourself forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Got four there, let's do 12 total. 
There's six. Last two. And next we have the Saxon side bend, but we're gonna raise the leg up. So you're gonna go side to side with one leg up. Just leaning your body to the side. Definitely harder to do on the side if the leg is up. You get a cramp, let it go. Good, relax for a second. And we're gonna do the other side. Saxon side bend. Definitely a little different. A couple more. Good, relax right there, let your leg go. And we're gonna come up and together, a little bit forward in front and come back and down. Just two more, that's mostly shoulders. And relax, good, put the weights behind your legs, put your legs together, lean forward. And we're gonna do reverse fly. Notice how my arms are slightly bent. They stay that way. Just pull up and squeeze the back muscles. Good, five more. Squeeze those back muscles. Excellent job, march it out. Heavy march, just working the bones. All right, great job. Let's grab the band. Throw those out there. And we're going to stand up with this band here. Got some more balance work to do. We can go back to that one foot in front for tandem balance. And be careful because you don't want to fall holding the band. So you could also do it without the band, whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do is be here with the band. A little bit of tension, not much. And you're just gonna go side, look to the side and center. Other side, center. This is a silver sneakers yoga exercise, yoga stretch exercise with the band. Probably do a yoga class here soon with the band as well. Couple more each side. Be careful. Excellent. All right, relax on that for a second. And we're gonna do pull downs. We're gonna do it with a very wide stance with the toes turned out. And you go down and pull it to your chest. Move my chair so you can see even better here. So don't let your knees go past your toes or else you gotta go wider. Right to the chest and the front of the body, not behind the neck. You can get a good stretch here too. Pull it down, stretch. About four more. Excellent, all right, now we're standing on one leg. We're gonna do tricep press. Put the band over the shoulder. 
put the hand through the back of the handle, grab on in front, and just standing on one foot here, pressing straight down. Three more. Excellent. Other side, put the stand over the shoulder, hand through the handle, grab on the front. You can also have the, the toe close by the ground if you need to catch your balance. So five more. Excellent, all right, good job. So now we're gonna do the other side of that one that we were twisting on. Remember which foot was in front. So this is a brain game thing too. Gotta to remember what you did. So here we are, twisting to the side. It'll work your balance, the other side. Be careful. Good, give me two more here. Each side. And relax. Good, nice job. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more with the band while we're standing. We're gonna put it underneath one foot. Make sure it's solid under there because you don't want it to slap you in the face. Uh, we're gonna pull it up, just the one side on the outside. Make sure your elbow stays down. Just curl it in. Good posture because it's working your back as well. Feel that in the bicep, about five more. Nice and slow on the way down. All right, other side. And figure out your range, how hard you want it. Three more. Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and have a seat. Grab your ball for now. Put the band away for the moment. So grab the ball, put it between your legs. We're gonna work some more core and squeeze, relax. Just in and out, exhale as you squeeze. Three more. Excellent, put the ball underneath one leg. And we're gonna work the stiff leg lifts. So all you do is lift it up, keep it tight the whole time. All these muscles are tight. 
and then you just lift it about an inch. And we gotta do a lot of these and try to stay focused. Don't let those leg muscles relax. Little exhales on the way up is good. About 10 more. Good, other side. So here we go. Put it between, put it underneath the leg there. Make it super tight. Tighten it all up and raise it just a bit. Keep it tight the whole time. It's only about an inch. Ten more. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and do uh, sit ups with the ball, lower back. So put it right about there. And you can extend your arms, try to get a little more out of it. Open up, breathe in, exhale, not too fast. Five more. Good, and then take it to upper back, working your lower back muscles now. Really press back into the ball. Open the chest. And hold it. Okay, now find the spot that's bothering you if you have one. If not, just find a good spot to massage yourself. Give yourself a bit of a massage there with that ball. Also, the little rotations are good. But if you have one that's really buggy, you get it right in there. And we got one more thing to do before we stretch out. We're gonna do a camel pose. So you actually put the ball underneath your foot. I'll show you from the side here so you can see better. Put the ball here. You put both feet on the ball. Now that you see that, you put the hands on the hips. I'll show you from the front. You wanna keep your hand, uh, knees together. That's the camel part. You want really thin legs and then we're going to have the arms and elbows out keep going hold that pose so just keep those legs together take a couple deep breaths one more breath Okay, go ahead and let the ball go. And we're gonna put one leg out, take a deep breath in, and exhale, stretch the back of your leg. So let's start with the chest, uh, take it to the toes, keeping the back nice and straight. And then relax your back, let it stretch a little bit as you reach down further.
Good, and then point and flex your foot. And other side, other leg out, deep breath in. Stretch in the back of your legs. Keep that posture first. Chest to toes. That works your, your uh, legs a little more when you have posture. And then relax. This will stretch your back a little more, lower back. Okay, point and flex the foot. And then we're gonna face this direction, one leg back. Reach up, stretching the hip flexor right in the front there. Take some deep breaths. And other side. So it may look like I have lots of space here, but actually just have to this spot right here. Um, I got new green screen material though, and I'm gonna make it longer. So I'll have even more space and easier to show my whole body during the workouts. So I'm excited for that. It came today in the mail. And back to center, triceps. I'm gonna try to get my microphone hooked up for the aerobics on Monday. Um, that's kind of my next step, putting the music and the aerobics and the microphone together. The other side. Feel free to send me your vacation photos and I'll uh, put it up as my background. And you can work out wherever you'd like to be. Just email me your photos if you want to do that. All right, here we go. Take a couple deep breaths. And exhale. One more. All right, wonderful job, everybody. Thanks for coming again. You can keep working that balance. Uh, just try to stand on one leg from time to time. It's just good work.